Hey guys, it's the 22nd of July, so I'll do a little fig update. Um, you might have heard me say quite a few times in other videos this year that um, it hasn't been a brilliant year for figs. Um, I've kind of narrowed it down to three factors. Um, the first is that we had quite a cold spring, so things took quite a long time to get going. Um, the second is actually that I've, I'd forgotten, but I, I have planted my biggest, most reliable fig, which was was on the patio over there um which was a brown turkey which gave me a good amount of bravers every year and um, that's plant planted at the local park so um yeah that's actually got a few figs on it at the minute i'm gonna leave it this year but i think in coming years um i might go down and harvest some um and then also um similar to that i planted um <clears throat> two yeah i planted my Peretta, which was another reliable fig at the allotment as well as around the Bordeaux of the allotment so maybe more of the reliable figs have been planted elsewhere um, and because of the transplanting and things like that they haven't produced that much this year uh, well they haven't produced anything yet this year um, the so that's the second factor that most of my reliable figs are planted elsewhere and the third factor is that there's we've had quite a bad kind of infestation of um, leaf roller caterpillars or fig moth caterpillars i don't know what the species name is um which have caused quite a lot of damage i'll quickly show you some um weirdly on the green in the greenhouse they've stopped now just about um but outside there are still a few left so you can see that webbing there they form that kind of protective webbing and then uh, underneath i don't know if you can see in there a little black spotted green caterpillar <clears throat> and they just eat away at the leaves like this forming patches <clears throat> over the leaves and yeah it can cause quite a lot of damage actually like that's some damage from them well I mean, this this whole plant has been quite badly ravaged by them um most of these I was like trying to pick them off every single day, but it just got too much. And really the majority of the damage comes when they try to... So for example, on this little smith plant here, you can see a little figlet. Um, they actually form a web in between the figlet and the leaf petiole. And then they eat away at the fruit. Um, and that meant that a large majority of my fruits just dropped off. Um, you can actually see in here... This main crop fig, this is called the Dharma Ramada. Um, if it will focus on that, it doesn't want to focus on that for some reason. But um, you can see there's a big brown spot, essentially. And that's where the caterpillar had had done that, when this fig was a lot smaller. Um, it eaten in a little hole in the fruit. Luckily, this one healed over and it survived. Um, but yeah, so I've had quite a lot of, quite a lot of trouble with that. Um, and because I'm growing in a very limited space, like all of my main crop figs are really going to be produced in about a third of this greenhouse. And this is just a six by six, um, foot greenhouse. So I don't have that much space. And because of that, every little fig counts. And when you get them dropping off at such a young age, um, obviously, well, I think for the majority of figs, they, they generally produce, will only produce one fig per node. So in each axle, um, so in each little part where the leaf BTO meets the stem, they'll only produce one fig. So if you get figs that are being eaten and drop off, then that node will no longer produce a fig, which, yeah, basically means that, you know, you're not going to get as many. Um, so all of that together means that it's been a bit of a difficult year. Um, I still, I'm hoping still for some main crop. So this, like I said, Calderdam Ramada. Was very tasty fig last year. This Viduno del Nord has got a few main crop on, also very tasty. This is fake black Madeira. Um, I'm gonna call it Madeira black. <laughs> I'll probably be taking this out of the greenhouse next year because the figs are okay, but they're not they're not really anything special. And I could do with using a bit more of the space. Um, I've got a genuine black Madeira here, which has one main crop on it. So I'm very excited to actually try a genuine one. Um, like I said, this is a smith, um, tiny little main crop. This, um, I found it very tricky to root, hence it came into growth very late. 
Um, but I'm really hoping that I can it, just get this little figure open. Um, yeah, I think that's the majority of it. There's, a, there's like one or two of this um, Colderdam Gigantina, which was also a very tasty fig. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've got quite a few. So I've got one at the park, which is a brown turkey. I've got Ronde de Bordeaux at the allotment. Um, I've got Peretta at the allotment. Both of those are probably not going to produce much this year, if anything, um, because they're just getting established there. Um, but yeah, I've, I've still got fig varieties that I... I mean, every time I watch a video, I'm like, oh, I need to get this variety. But I'm looking for uh, figs that produce very good quality brobers. So Desert King, I've been told, is a good one. Um, or figs that produce an early main crop. Um, maybe... Uh, or... Yeah, um, Ronde de Bordeaux is meant to be a very early main crop. Um, I think LSU figs are generally meant to be a little bit earlier. But uh, but yeah, so I'm still looking out for different varieties. And um, I'll just show you this one, which is, this is a second video, No Del Nord, which, because I, I got two plants to root uh, last year. Um, so I'm going to see if this will ripen up this main crop outside but like i said it's been this has been very slow to get into growth um so i guess we'll see later on in the season you can see back there there's a couple of little tiny little main crop figs as well um but I'd, it'd be really interesting to see if this will ripen main crop outside but um but yeah so lots of figs well lots of fig plants not so many figs but um I don't know, maybe next year when the allotment figs are established and the the one at the park is more established and these guys, you know, produce a little bit better, maybe then I'll have like a good number of figs to eat. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, lots of love, guys, lots of peace and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon.